Hello, this is Captain L on commentary, and you are halfway through the first game of Winner's Quarters at a- oh, wow, Winner's Quarters. This is a very early matchup for such- such high-quality players. We have Focus, probably- probably, uh, easily the best Sheik in BC, versus Vivif. I would say, from what I understand, he's the best player in Oregon, actually. Um, Kakujin being from Washington, who would be the other contender at this tournament from the United States. Uh... Looks like it's going pretty well for Focus right now. A solid lead after kind of being down from the first stock, but I, I, I kind of noticed this after he did the first down throw and went for an up air. Um, Vivif did an air dodge, and so the second time he did that, Focus went for the the uh, vanish kill, which is a very very. Very good on focus to notice what Vivif's habits were and punish them accordingly. I, that time he knew. That time he knew that. Uh, that time he knew not to just air dodge into the vanish because vanish is definitely Sheik's best early KOing option. Someone just walked in front of the game. Apparently, that's not very cool. Uh, back throw with Rage, still not enough to kill Vivif. Pretty thirsty for an up smash right now. V Vivif is a very, uh, 
smash attack heavy player, and Mario is a very smash attack heavy character. Ooh, Sheik's animation for missing Bouncing Fish was low enough to the ground for him to dodge that up smash. And as a Pikachu main, I can relate, because a lot of Pikachu's animations just put him very low to the ground, and he can dodge a very, very surprising number of moves. I guess Sheik got a bit of a Pikachu luck there. Very, yeah, very thirsty for that up smash. Oh, Jason, on the other hand, seems to be a little bit thirsty for the vanish, and he gets the up air to kill. So we have game one going to Focus of British Columbia, Canada. And I think the fact that this is happening in winners' quarters means Focus is the sixth seed in the tournament, and Vivif is the third seed. They're going back to Smash Roll. I really like that. Both these players, they, they don't want to mess around with stage, just, you know, give me the neutral stage, that's all I want. Uh, Sheik falls fast enough to kind of avoid Mario's up tilt combos. That's something that I kind of <laughs> dislike about the Pikachu-Mario matchup, how Pikachu is the perfect way to just get comboed forever by those up tilts. Mario kind of understanding now. I don't know how much Sheik experience uh, Vivif actually has, but he's seeming to get the timing of air dodging the Bouncing Fish and being able to punish, because Bouncing Fish, very, very safe on shield, but if it whiffs, it's uh, pretty punishable. Focus almost looked like a SD there, but he knows the timing. This audio is horribly off. I'm sorry, I'm not the stream technician. I am, in fact, just the guy who was like, Hey, no one's talking on stream. Let me do it. So I suppose rather than a play... But wait, um, stream chat, just tell me, am I saying things before they happen or after they happen? And... Yeah. Anyway. Uh, Focus, doing some fancy ledge stuff. I, I didn't even know that was possible. Sheik just so good. Oh, Bouncing Fish. Where are you at? That was a goldfish right there. The best kind of fish, in fact. So, now, now that Focus has a lead, you might notice he's not going to go in at all. He's just going to wait to punish anything that Vivif does, and then go back. And he's, contrary to popular belief, when Focus camps, he doesn't just do nothing. He charges needles. There you have it, folks. It's not camping if you're charging needles. It's like... It's like being, being on a camping trip and you're just sewing. It's, it's not doing nothing. It's admirable. Ooh, nice bouncing fish. Ooh! Very solid forward smash by Vivid. Kind of a bit of a lean back on that one where Mario's animation has him winding up and you can actually dodge a wide array of attacks with that. Things that would have normally been spaced perfectly to hit Mario. They just whiff, because he's leaning back. It's a popular technique with Captain Falcon as well, because he leans back like really far for his forward smash. Focus right now is just kind of... I don't want to say t spamming text field, but he's just using a lot of very, very safe aerials and light hits to just kind of make himself seem untouchable. And I'm... Be oh! I was believing it. He almost got caped, and that would have flipped him around and made him fly off stage. but instead, the Vanish hitbox kills Mario. And ladies and gentlemen, we have all British Columbia in the top four of winner's bracket. Firefly and Captain L were on the other side of the bracket, and now it's going to be Focus and... I, I guess I might be speaking too, too soon. I don't actually know for sure if Big D is already there in the bracket yet. I haven't been following. But Big D is most likely to make it to winner's semis, so...